In this video, we will find a way to calculate the percentage in Microsoft Excel. Here is a data of the student mark sheet. The, this column is show the number of the students. Uh, here is the name of the students. And these are the subject of these students. The, here the number of the marks uh, obtained the student in each subject. Here is the total obtained marks uh, column. The total marks column is in each uh, student is equal to 400. It means each subject is equal to 100. The four subject are here. Then that's why the total marks here is 400. In this column, we need to find the percentage of each student. For the calculation of the percentage of each student, we need to find first the total obtained marks. Total obtained marks, we know that the is equal to sum of each subject. In Excel, we use a sum function. I type HUM, it opens a sum function and uh, press the small bracket. Then we give the value of the function, select uh, first cell subject and drag down to last subject of the cell and then close the small bracket and press enter. 293 is a total of 10 marks of a first student. Then I copy this formula when I copy this formula a moving box appear it means I copy this formula we use a shortcut key is control plus C sometimes we use a mouse key I press here is a and then select a copy then I paste this formula the rest of the cells for this we have a shortcut key is control V in paste when I paste this formula in other cells is automatically calculate the total 10 marks of other students as well. Actually, Excel has a lot of way to add the number in Microsoft Excel. Sometimes we use a sum function. Sometimes we use alt and equal shortcut key. Let's say I delete it and then I just press the alt and equal then it automatically apply a sum function here. The other way we add the number just uh, press the equal then select uh, each cell separately and press a plus sign and then select an other cell then press a plus sign and then select a other cell and again press a plus sign and select a last cell and then press the enter but it is a time consuming process if you want to know how we can add multiply subtract and divide in microsoft excel the link of this video is available in this video description because i have created this video and posted in accounting plus channel you must be go through how we can add multiply and subtract in microsoft excel but this video is totally focused on how we can calculate percentage in microsoft excel after find the total of 10 marks of each student now we are in position to calculate the total percentage of each student in microsoft excel for this we need to, to select a cell then press equal then select a total of 10 marks then divide with uh, total marks and press the enter then we need to select a cell and then click here this is a percentage sign when we click this percentage sign it automatically convert this number in a percentage if we need a percentage in two decimal then we will increase the decimals with the help of these arrows if we need a decimal to one decimal place then we decrease this decimal with the help of these arrows after calculating the percentage of first student then we copy this formula and then apply with the rest of the cells it will automatically convert the other cells in a percentage now these are the percentage for each student mostly you hear the talk shows of the political parties they are yelling each other daily on tv shows and the price of these goods increase in your tenor our tenor is much better that's why i decided to put this example in our discussion as well to to make this concept is more clear and interesting for this we need to find the difference first then we will divide the difference with the base years let's see first we need to find the difference the difference in year 1 and year 2 
pass I select a year to less the year one then press enter then I copy this formula and paste the other cell it will automatically calculate the difference in other cells as well for this I need to select a difference amount then divide with the base year in this case the base year I assume a year to one then I click the enter it automatically convert the percentage if you see a decimal here then you will go to a percentage icon then click here it automatically convert the decimal into a percentage if we increase the decimal then press these arrows if we want to decrease this decimal then uh, click these arrows just this copy this formula and paste the other cells it automatically calculate the percentage in other cells as well the shortcut key for the percentage we use uh, control plus shift and plus percentage if we if we press these three keys simultaneously in microsoft excel then it automatically convert a number in a percentage here uh, i show a one interesting thing here let's copy this formula and paste here it show a error this error is because there is no data available that's why the excel show a error now i just copy this and formula and paste here it show a zero because when the no data available then excel use number is a zero there in this case the when the zero come in the denominator then the answer um, cannot get we cannot get the answer there if we put the data here let's say i say the price is 1600 and here is the 900 then we automatically get the our other numbers as well in this way we can find the percentage in microsoft excel please give me one favor to like this video share in twitter and with your friends as well subscribe this channel as well if you are looking for the other accounting tutorials then go to accounting plus channel and here you will find a very useful accounting videos and excel videos as well